Shizuku right now is a great alternative for the users who don't want to root their devices but want to explore some new things on their Android devices then try out Shizuku. This is a very good alternative of Magis. Not exactly like Magis but it's a good thing. Go and check it out and we are just setting up Shizuku right now. If you don't know what is Shizuku and how to get that google.com is here and I will check out those things for you. This is what we have Shizuku is set up done. So we have five apps which are actually supported by Shizuku and actually working fine. The first app which is in our list is Droidify. It's a hub of all the open source apps available on the internet. If I move on to the settings and check out the installation types, you'll be able to see that I'm using Shizuku installer. We have root installer, we have legacy installer, session installer, and we have Shizuku installer. So I've enabled this Shizuku installer option. What this option do is, by default, whenever I install app, it will just take me to the installation install package installer app, and then I install that app manually. But I have enabled the Shizuku installer option. So whenever I download this app, for example, just for an example, I'm downloading this app right now. Whenever it will be downloaded, you can see it is automatically installed. Exactly same like what you do in a rooted Android device, but do you are doing this thing without root. So that's nice. That's very interesting. This was the first app which was in our list in Shizuku apps. We have four more, so stay tuned. Make sure to watch this video till the end. The second one is App Ops, which is a very, very useful app. One thing, let me tell you, this app only works with Shizuku, so you don't need to check out other things. You don't need root. You don't need anything else you simply need to use shizuku and how to set up shizuku we'll give you the link in the description for that video just for an example if i move on to this app we have many permission options there and if i move on to this read storage option you will be able to see ignore this is a very great thing which will give which will grant the permission to that app because that app needs that permission but actually it will give the empty data the same thing which is available in miui china based custom rooms they give that permission but they don't give that data so that's quite interesting you will get to know much better after using this app so go and check it out this app right now this app actually also supports the system app so that's nice because all these things works without root the third app which is in our list is Amarok. This is nice. This is quite interesting one. If I move on to this switch app hiding mode, we have a four modes available. Of course, disabled, root mode, Shizuku and DSM. Shizuku mode is what I have enabled. Amarok is a very underrated app right now where you can hide the files from internal storage with just one click. How to do that? I will tell you. Wait, let me show you. If I move on, if I check out this, you need to click on set hide files, set hidden files select the folder which you want to hide for example if i want to hide this documents folder so i will use this folder and done what this is if i move on and click on hide the app uh, that folder is hidden from all the apps from my file manager from my internal storage so if i move on to internal storage and check out the documents you can see no files are there even if I enable the hidden files options, if I enable this hidden files option and go back, you can see all these files are showing as corrupted or nothing to nothing is existed. Nothing exists. So that's quite interesting one. This is one of the most underrated apps. Go and check it out. If you are if you're loving this video on these apps, make sure to like this video because if your one like will motivate us a lot to make a lot of content like this. We have this another app called Rootless James DSP. What this app is, if you need an equalizer on your device without root, if Dolby Atmos is not there, if you don't want to root your device, then check out this James DSP. I made a video specifically on this app already. And if you want to check it out, the link for that video, I will provide you in the description or you can simply comment below. I will give you the link there too. We have a lot of options available in this. This is one of the best equalizers out there. And this is also open source. So that's quite nice. If you need open source apps on your device want to use these things without root then go and check it out so last but not the least the app which is in our list is a system ui tuner what this thing is you simply need to grant the permission from shizuku which you are always doing right now in this video we have a lot of tricks options available actually these tricks are there for example if you want to enable adb for you can enable adb as force enable you can see you can set it as a persistent option we have options related to wi-fi we have options related to status bar notifications some things which are actually 
actually hidden by default some options which are hidden by default are already present here you can see heads up notifications snooze options are there you can adjust the milliseconds according to you we have the options related to quick settings we have the options related to status bar some things which are of course hidden by default as i just mentioned those things which are enabled by default here so this is quite interesting and all these things can be done without root so that's good go and set up shizuku the link for that video i will provide you in the description by the way if i am not able to you can simply comment below i will give you the link there so these were things i just want to let you know this is all about shizuku and these apps are super good there are many more so if you need all those apps in this video in this in on this channel make sure to subscribe this and make sure to like this video to motivate us thanks for watching and goodbye